Let's go through a party speech and cover the top 10 points that you need to go over when doing a Bronzeberry tanning party. I'm going to start from beginning to end and then we'll go over the points individually. Hi, my name is Amy and I'm going to be tanning you this evening. I'm with Bronzeberry and we do organic mobile spray tanning. Thanks so much, Susan, for having me here. And because she's hosting this fabulous party, she's getting our signature glow for the price of a classic. Everybody here is going to get a natural looking spray tan. Has anybody here not had a spray tan before? Okay, great. Well, we're gonna go over everything from start to finish so that you know exactly what to expect so that you can have an amazing result. Bronzeberry specializes in natural looking spray tans. All of our solutions are organic, so there's nothing to worry about um, in terms of safety. Each one of you, like I said, is gonna have a natural tan. Based on your skin tone, I'm able to control the color and the outcome, so we can talk about what you're looking for specifically when I'm tanning you privately. Today, we're gonna to be offering our classic glow for the price of X. You also can get our Signature Glow for an additional X amount of dollars. And what that provides you with is our pH Tonic and our Hydration Tonic. The pH Tonic balances your skin's pH, resulting in a more even absorption of the tan, but most importantly, it helps with smell. Some people's pH gets disrupted during spray tanning and they can smell a little bit funky. I know I do, so I always get the pH spray because I don't want that smell. Uh, the hydration spray is something that I spray on clients after their tan. It's very soothing and nourishing. It's made with acai berry and it helps with feeling a little bit less sticky. It does help with smell, but it nourishes and hydrates your skin. Spray tanning can dry out your skin a little bit, but when you're adding that moisturizer right back in, it actually helps to extend the life of your tan. So by upgrading to the Signature Tan, you're probably going to get a little bit of a longer lasting result, and it's a bit more comfortable. But regardless of which option you choose, you're going to love the color. Every single one of you is going to need to fill out a waiver. I have my laptop here and I'm going to have you fill out a digital copy um, and if you have any questions as you're going over that, please let me know. Each one of you is going to fill that out before you come into the other room to get tanned. So what we have is a separate room where I'm going to be tanning everybody and all of you guys can hang out here and enjoy each other's company but that way I can tan somebody privately and they get a little privacy and they feel a bit more comfortable because you can wear whatever you want when you're getting tan you can wear as little or as much as you're comfortable with whatever that is I'm comfortable with I do this all the time so don't be shy um, ask questions um, if you have any but please feel free to wear whatever you're most comfortable in a requirement of our company is that you do have something on the bottom of your feet so each one of you will either need to wear flip-flops or purchase our strapless sandals the strapless sandals are actually sticky and they stick to the bottom of your feet so that you don't have any tan lines and you don't get any tanner on the bottom of your feet. If you choose to wear flip-flops, that's fine. You just have to keep them on the entire time I'm tanning you. So that does include when I tan your feet. So you will have flip-flop lines, but uh, that would be something that would happen if you were out in the sun as well. So if you don't want flip-flop lines, go ahead and purchase the sticky feet as well. When you're drying, I'm going to put you into a different room, into the bathroom, and I'm going to play a video called Countdown to Close. It's a five minute video and from start to finish it will explain to you how to take care of your tan and what to expect, but the main point of it is that at the end of that five minutes it's going to tell you that you're dry and you can get dressed. So while you're waiting in the bathroom, you have something to do, but also you'll know exactly when you're done drying so that you can get dressed and join the group. Okay, so let's go over this again. 
Each one of you, before you come into the other room to get tanned, is already going to fill out the digital guideline. If you need to wash your face, hands, or go to the bathroom, please do it before it's your turn. We don't want to hold up the party um, waiting for you. So um, if you're not ready, we'll move on to the next person. But being ready means you have your guideline filled out, you're ready to go with your face washed, or if you need to use the restroom, you have your flip-flops, um, or you know you're going to buy some sticky feet, and you have your form of payment. I accept cash, check, or charge, and I will take that payment and coordinate with that you individually in the room. Okay, so let's get started.